Assalamu alaikum. Today on this channel we will talk about a book review which you should read to transfer the way you lived and work. The book is Achieve Your Goals by Andy Smith who is an emotional intelligent coach and trainer. The book will help you to learn strategies to transfer your life and there are so many other elements. One you need to achieve and reach the goals. There are extremely likable and relatable elements in this book which we do in our daily life and they affect us subconsciously. Let's get into it. This book is divided into five chapters. My group members and I will explain you the book chapter wise. My group members are Zahra Kazim as a group leader, myself Ammar as a corresponding leader and Ariba Zawar, Rimsha and Mustafa. Chapter 1 will be explained by Rimsha. Chapter 2 Decide what's important by Ariba Zawar. Chapter 3 Clear the blocks by Zahra Kazim. Chapter 4 Create the vision you want by Ammar. Chapter 5 Getting there by Mustafa. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mushan Awaz and today I am going to explain the chapter number 1 of our book Achieve Your Goal. First of all about the chapter, it's up to you in the chapter itself telling you that how and what is in the chapter that how that it up to it is up to you that how you can achieve your goal. The first main headache is that take responsibility. It is the first step toward toward, toward achieve your goal. The first subheading is that make a right so that in the, in the choice you have made it should be rational it should be good it should be logical second subheading is that don't blame yourself and that if you made if you have made a wrong choice so don't blame yourself and just be confident and be happy and the third uh, subheading is that think it as a feedback not failure that if you have made a wrong choice so don't think it as a failure just think it as a feedback the, and it has a flow chart and a table on it that that, that how you can think of, that how you can uh, overcome your fear, fear and failures and the another subheading is that uh, another subheading is that learn to judge yourself that how, judge yourself that where you have made a wrong choice and try to overcome it then uh, there is another subheading which is make your good, uh, good fortune that you can just think that you are the only person that who can work for it, yeah, who can achieve your goal. And then cause and effect, they just think about how the causes and effect it and the effects that, that is affecting you, to, you are for achieving your goal. Then another subheading is that focus on present. Just focus, focus on present. Don't think about the past and don't think about the future. Just focus, focus on present and, and be confident and, and think you can do it. Second mean heading is develop your personal power. It's, it's mean when the power is strong, life becomes much easier. You have a definite sense that you are in charge and that the choice are yours to make. And its first subheading is enjoy the benefit. That you have to enjoy that you have to enjoy the benefit and what the decision you have made. And the second mean subheading is that use your power to act. Just think positive, don't be negative, just be confident. Third Third subheading is that center yourself and and be uh, to make aware people uh, make aware people about from your presence and make pe people aware from your qualities or talent and another subheading is that increase your awareness about the area about the circumstances you have to face from the uh, in the, in the way of achieving your goal and another uh, another Subheading is that clear your inner clutter. Inner clutter means negative thoughts and bad things from your mind. And just clear it and think positive. And another subheading is that be effective, not busy. That be effective for the people, be available for the people that around you. Not busy, not be negative from them for them. Third main heading is that the power of your unconscious. It means that you should be aware from the environment you are in. Recognize your unconscious. It means it is the first subheading that 
recognize the environment where are you belonging and where are you starting in the process of achieving your goal and another subheading is they learn to use your unconscious they learn to use environment in environment where you are in your where you are working working the the place you are working another subheading is that manage your mind just manage your mind according to the area according to the environment you are working uh, work with your unconscious may take benefit or you can say that take benefit from the environment uh, environment and recognize your feeling about uh, the your goal use your uh, use your sense and intensis uh, for achieving your goal and use your belief positively use your belief positively and think positive and don't think negative just be confident and be happy consider the evidence and this uh, evaluate on an analysis analysis the environment and think about and think according to it and the and the third main heading is that focus on what you want just focus on what you want and what you want to be in your life where you want to be where, where what is the what is your goal in your life learn to look just and uh, look around and say uh, and think where you want to be and another subheading is that choose the choose the right motivation that you should choose a motivation or you should make a uh, your role model that you that it is the stage you want to be that it is the stage where you want to be another and uh, and get the result every time is then another subheading that uh, when you want to uh, when you do something just um, uh, just take a, a result and don't think and think about the fail or pass or anything just uh, why you will just be aware of result limit the drama in your life and just don't think about the people but people say just think about what you want fifth the main heading is look at your life appreciatively just think uh, just think positive and appreciate yourself and motivate yourself that you can do it first creativity is the first sub heading that just be creative in your decision making and your goal achieving cultivate an appreciative mindset is the second sub heading that may make your mindset appreciative and appreciate not only yourself but the people around you the uh, third sub heading is find what is already working and make uh, motivate people and people around you and but they are working and focus on them and appreciate them no use uh, no use trend uh, no use trends mean that uh, you should be aware about uh, aware about your strength your weaknesses and and that how you should know that how to overcome from it learn to learn acceptance and that that just accept the what is going on if it is going wrong just accept it and try to make it right do more of what work and just do more than what works uh, good and what you can uh, do to make it good again and last main heading is develop your self awareness it mean that you should be aware of uh, of yourself that you can do it and how that if you cannot do it so what you can do to achieve your goal listen to uh, listen to what you say is the first sub heading that listen what you are saying what you are saying to other what you are saying to you what you can do for to you achieve your goal express yourself be expressive be in the the person who can who can express their opinions to other another is to recognize yourself that you should recognize, recognize yourself that what you can do Ch- and and make a chart uh, of high and lows of your life that in in a mind map you there is a chart of high and low of your in the life and then and focus on the low point that these are the low point and i can 
I can do to overcome it and make them help. That's all for my for my chapter. Hope you like it. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. The second chapter deciding what's important includes looking ahead. Looking ahead is looking for all the opportunities and barriers that will that will come in our way of achieving our goals. Then after we know what our goal is getting to know what our dream is we decide on what to and how to work on it we work accordingly we manage time and do all we have in our power we manage our time according to it and if even if we cannot manage we have to get out of our comfort zone uh, in order to achieve a goal then we work towards the goal in order to do do that we have to look on all the long and short term impact it will have on our life and our goal then we learn on how to place important over urgent many times we place urgent over important just because that's urgent and that neglects the important thing and in in time of doing the important thing it also becomes urgent and we cannot do it as properly as we would have done it if we would have placed it over the urgent thing many times the urgent thing isn't even important and we lose time to do the important things rightly then one should know their values then in order to achieve a dream there are values that will be a very important part of it to achieve a goal we should know our values how important and what value is and how to work accordingly without affecting the values then how values originate what is more important and what is less important when we know what which value is more important to us than the other then it's easy for us to choose we can make a scale and we can rate it on with numberings like 1 2 3 4 5 and this is this important like if uh, for someone the dream is important money is money comes after and other things come after we have to make a list like that and then we can work on what is more important and what's after that and what comes after that then we can establish the most important values and number them like it's like rankings 1 2 3 4 5 and we can work on them accordingly money as value then comes money as a value many people think money as a value money is at the top priority but money is not as good um, money can provide them their uh, money can provide all the things and materialistic things but in the end there are many many people which in the end they have a lot of money and they just get to know that it's nothing to them so money should not be the top priority according to me then uh, we should set our priorities flexible like in overtime we understand that this priority has changed to ranking num- from ranking two to ranking one we should change it we should not be like we are, i have this fixed priority i cannot change it in overtime if we understand that this should be over that like in uh, if in that time we need money then we can put money over the top priority and then when we have the money to do that then money can come down we can do that then which is more important then we do what is more important then after that we have to see away from motivation away from motivation is anything that stops us from looking towards our goal so we motivate us from what is stopping us to going there we have to achieve our goal anything that stops us we have to cross that thing that's away from motivation then after that uh, away from motivation we have to resolve the conflicts resolve the conflicts and overcome the barriers that are coming away resolving the conflicts means that we have to satisfy both the values the most important values we have to satisfy them at the same time we cannot just let go of anyone we have to we can we can satisfy them as we uh, did above as we did before like uh, we can rank them in different we can at that time we can see that what is more important and then we'll see if we achieve this how will it affect our goal and then we'll do the same with the other and in the end we will get to know that they are quite compatible so we cannot let go of any of them as the other downwards down as the other values that were very down were not as compatible as them so we have to satisfy them as at the same time then after we, all of this is done then we go to moving to toward motivation now moving to motivation is the motivation uh, that uh, we have to think very long term of a thing when 
we get uh, when we get the goal when we achieve the goal what will we do when we'll have that money what will we do and will be that businessman what is now that we want to do so anything and all the things all the factors that makes us achieve the goal now that we have achieved it what will we do of that goal or what, how will we utilize it that is all i have in this chapter thank you assalamu alaikum my name is zahra kazim and spelling chapter number 3 which is clear the blocks which means letting go the barriers which comes in between while achieving your goals which are further divided into five sections first section is defeat limiting beliefs they can be anything which holds you back they can be defeated in five steps the first step is look at your beliefs second is to identify them third is to challenge fourth to lose and fifth is to rehearse new beliefs first step is to look at yourself which means the beliefs which you hold since your childhood influences you subconsciously second step is to identify which means getting aware third step is to challenge which means write write it down so you can question yourself fourth step is to lose which means ask yourself where it came from and what it is costing you fifth step is to rehearse new beliefs which means notice how things change how situations turns out differently when you change your beliefs the second section is getting yourself out of a rut which is further divided into three steps first is to scale the problems which means that scaling your problems from 1 to 10 then comes using your thoughts to help and the way you think about the things makes a huge impact then the third step is alter your viewpoint which basically means just change your point of view getting yourself out of a rut is basically learning how to deal with the problems instead of just uh, focusing on the problems we should uh, we should focus more on the solution the third section is to diffuse problem triggers which is the main important thing which means don't fight with your inner voice firstly acknowledge your triggers and then take actions against it to diminish the power of triggers you can acknowledge your triggers by knowing and practicing emotions and then taking actions according to it the fourth step is to deal with your inner critic which means accepting and understanding your thoughts firstly becoming aware and then giving permission to your inner critic to give its opinion then self compassion and reaching and reacting to negative inner critic is within your control fifth section is how to deal with difficult people the things which comes under it are every dispute have three viewpoints then deal with criticism be aware of projection every dispute have three viewpoints which are your own viewpoints other person's point of view and a detached overview okay so they can be beneficial or can not be beneficial but the key is to remain flexible to find ways you should see every situation with free eyes then comes how to deal with criticism deal with criticism attitude is invaluable feedback then comes be aware of projection so basically projection refers to the perceptions of your own feeling in other person without realizing that it's really about yourself so we should always use problematic people as a practice because they are the be- they are the best teachers and they teaches you the best lessons of your life my name is ammar my topic is create the vision you want now that you are clear about your values and have goals and unlimited beliefs you can form up your goals and bring them to life in a way that will enlist your unconscious mind to help make it happen set your goals without goals you would just be drifting aimlessly at the mercy of whatever events come along in your life use goals to give you direction when you know what your goals are 
you know the path you have to follow to get there. Free mental energy. If you find it hard to think of activities that would be enjoyable, you need to free some mental energy. Make goal setting one. Engage your goal and conscious mind. When you have a vision that you can see, hear and feel, it engages you on more than just an intellectual level. It gives you the emotional motivation you will need to get through setbacks and overcome. Distinguish between goals and feelings. I want to be happy is not a goal. You can be happy right now for at least a short while by bringing to mind a happy time in your life. Find a route to successful goal. By now you will have some goals in mind. Own your goals. Get the job done. Positive thinking. Specifically what and when. Place the goal in your future. Now that your goal is defined, you need to install it into your future. To do this. You need to find out which direction in your space signifies future to you to engage your whole brain in the goal installation. Choose your direction. Timelines most commonly take one of two forms. The future is in front of you. The past is behind you. And you are standing at. Now, this form makes it easy to be in the movement. Make your goal compelling. The final step before installing your goals is to make your goal mental image of the goal as, as a positive. Place the needs in your future. Choose your direction. Make your goal complete. Help your unconscious to organize time. Return to now along the timeline and look into the future. You will have a sense of knowing that the goal is going to happen. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Mustafa Tariq. Today I am going to explain you chapter 5 getting there of book achieving your goal. Make your goal happen. Break dream down into measurable steps. Have one clear goal for each area of your life. Align your goals with your purpose and passion, create goals that inspire action, write down goals in details, commit to hitting each target, share your goals with others. Focus on your desired outcomes. The desired outcome was a patient who died a peaceful death in the place of their choice, supported by family and friend. Specific describing what will change, example, knowledge, skills, attitude, behavior. Measurable fo focusing on how much change is expected achievable within a given time frame. Play to your strengths. To do what you are able to do well rather than trying to do others thing, it is up to us to play to our strengths and trying to control the game. Know when you use your strengths, embrace your weaknesses, know what our strengths are first, less self awareness drive your leadership, acknowledge your growth areas, challenge yourself in streets, Let's your impact guide your action, play to your people's strength. Deal with overload. Overload represents the weight of hours, the sacrifice of time and the sense of frustra frustration with the inability to complete tasks in the given period. Manage your time, wipe out bad work habits, make a list of everything you have to do, don't try to do it all, learn to say no, don't let it overwhelm you. Live up to your self-image. Self-image is the way you think about and view yourself. An example of self-image is a person who sees herself as beautiful and smart. One's conceptions of oneself and one's own identity, abilities, worth, etc. The conception that one has of oneself including an assessment and of qualities and personal worth. Take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself means accepting yourself for who you are instead of burning yourself out trying to be everything to everyone all the time 
इट्स लिविंग योर लाइफ इन अ वे दैट डज नॉट लीव्स यू नीडिंग टू चेक आउट और टेक अ ब्रेक लर्न फ्रॉम योर मिस्टेक्स मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स अलाउ यू टू लर्न वॉट यू वैल्यू वॉट यू लाइक वॉट यू डोंट वॉन्ट वॉट यू डोंट नीड वॉट यू शिफ्ट योर माइंड सेट इट्स अलाउस यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे आर एक्चुअली नो मिस्टेक्स ओनली लेसन एंड लर्निंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज बियॉन्ड योर गोल्स एवरी वन हैज ड्रीम्स एंड गोल्स हाउ एवर वेरी फ्यू पीपल्स एक्चुअली अचीव दैम दिस इज बिकॉज मेजोरिटी ऑफ अस लेट अस लिमिट्स होल्ड अस बैक दीज लिमिट्स टेक वेरियस फॉर्म्स एग्जाम्पल आर फिजिशियन फिजिकल एग्जाम्पल आर फिजिकल इनेबिलिटी डाउट फेयर और अ नेगेटिव पास वैन यू मीट योर पर्सनल लिमिट यू फील रिजिस्टेंस दिस मेक एवरी थिंग फील्स बेटर हार्डर टू अकम्पलिश many peoples around the world are unable to hold on when it is gets to this point therefore they give up it is important to learn how to beat your limits and overcomes them this enables you to achieve your goals this is how to push beyond your limit and achieve your biggest goal thank you very much that's all